Hi, everyone. To the subscriber who asked me to do some research and try to find out what is happening in Idaho, dozens of dead geese plunge from the sky into Idaho parking lot in bizarre case. Yeah, they dropped from the sky. Dead. And several of the geese had their stomachs blown open. All of them were dead. Now, Idaho had a storm with lightning and golf ball size hail. So someone is suggesting that the geese were killed by a lightning strike while migrating north to Canada. This happened Saturday night. 50 dead geese plunged into a parking lot near an Idaho lab. Near the lab of the conservation officer, Jacob Burl. And some have said that, well, the lightning doesn't really explain it. The hail doesn't explain it. It's a freak accident. I have posted many videos showing you guys the ultra low frequencies that are being shot off in this area in Washington, in Oregon, in Montana, and Idaho. And in fact, Idaho has ultra low frequencies being shot off right now. Now, these frequencies are very, very dangerous. And is it possible that these geese flew right into these frequencies and they all dropped dead? Some having their stomachs blown open? Absolutely. We know that these frequencies are being used as a weapon. Can I do research and come up with a definitive answer? No. No, but the environment has become deadly for all life due to the use of the frequencies, due to the geoengineering, and no, Others have said it's geoengineering. Look, the spraying of toxic chemicals and heavy metals does not explain the sudden dropping of 50 geese from the sky. They all dead in a parking lot. These toxic chemicals and heavy metals bring about a death over time, not sudden. They're on their way to Canada flying, they're fine. Then they drop dead. You can see all of the frequencies being used right now in Idaho. That very defined line is caused by frequencies. Right here, this is caused by ultra-low frequencies. You can see them in the precipitation, but all of these very defined fanned outlines are signatures of ultra-low frequencies. Here they are again. And I have said that I have noticed that these ultra-low frequencies are now a regular occurrence in this area in particular, the Northwest. And you can see them up here.
If you look closely, you can see all of the defined lines, the faded, the dark, very defined lines that look like it's a fan. You do know that 150 whales beach themselves in Western Australia. This is very hard to see, but journalists who refuse to ever investigate militaries their use of sonic weapons, their use of all types of frequencies, millimeter wave, microwave, ultra low frequencies, will never get to the truth when these journalists refuse. They literally, there's a wall up. Mainstream media, journalists all over the world will just never break down that wall and begin to investigate and expose what our militaries have been doing. But they are killing all life on the planet. And I will link below to mass animal deaths for 2018. Thirty-eight pilot wells dead after washing up on a beach in New Zealand. Uh, it's 6,000 ducks killed due to avian flu in Bulgaria. Five tons of dead fish wash up in Chile. A mass die-off of birds in Russia. Fifty dead birds found around a monastery never seen before. Bulgaria, Bulgaria. 200 plus dead dolphins found during the past few months in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Hundreds of dead fish found in India. Thousands of dead fish found in Florida. 30 plus tons of fish die suddenly in a fish farm in China. And we started April 6, we're at April 2nd. Thousands of dead fish found in Washington County, America. 28 dead dolphins wash up this year in Mississippi, America. 2,000 ducks killed due to avian flu in France. 150 cows dropped dead in Kenya. Large die off of seagulls and cormorants and swans in Denmark. Thousands of seabirds and fish dead due to oil spill in northern Colombia, March 27. 68 dolphins found stranded, 49 dead on a beach in Pantagonia, Pantagonia Argentina. The list is long very long. Thousands of dead fish found in ponds in Laredo, Texas. One hundred and thirty cattle killed by lightning struck strike in Brazil. Wow, that must have been a huge lightning strike, like how wide does that lightning strike have to be to kill 103 cattle? Seven hundred thousand animals have died due to extreme cold in Mongolia. Thousands of sheep found dead after snow in England. March 7th. 
Millions of dead sea creatures wash up along the coast of Yorkshire, England. Sixty geese, ducks, chickens found dead with hearts removed. A mystery in Brazil. Well, okay. That sounds, well, uh, rather satanic. Um, hundreds of birds fall dead from sky in Mexico. It's a long list. And this is just 2018. Thirty dead turtles found on beaches in Uruguay. 193 dead turtles found on the coast in India. Another mystery 1,000 plus cockatoos found dead in Victoria, Australia. This will only continue and it's going to get a lot worse. And, well, I wish journalists would actually do their jobs to find out what is happening here.